Hi everyone, today I'd like to start a new video series about Google alternatives and I'd like to start with uh, Google search al alternatives and the first video I'm going to show you DuckDuckGo so you can just go and type DuckDuckGo.com and then you can use this alternative search engine on the main uh, uh, page okay you also find some information about this search engine and they claim that they don't store your personal information ever okay and some other important stuff that you can um, you can just check it out and uh, read you know there is also by the way a specific page you can just find somewhere in here about privacy etc anyway let's start and using it i'll just search linux you know nothing crazy and then as you as you can see you have just as any other search engine just the the, the most important the most uh, common websites such as wikipedia by the way then you have ubuntu which, which are specific to this search so you will find just everything that you'll normally find on google you know but as it say it doesn't track you so this is a, a plus you know this fundamental for me it's fundamental you know so i just avoid google as much as i can i never use it i always try to block it you know everything from google yeah i'm using chromium so i probably will also need to change the browser but anyway as a search engine alternative in my opinion dr go is one of the best and is the one that i use okay so let's uh, check out some other stuff like for example you can change the themes here it's super easily just with a few clicks as you can see now it's changed the color and then you can also change the background and everything by the way here you have the images the videos and meanings in this case that depends on what you're searching it can be also shop or something else you know and that's it on the settings let me return back on the settings you can change the settings <laughs> okay such as the favorite language or region the only thing i change here is i change the the default map i use open street map not google map or not bing maps so open stream map and then the units of measure for me it's metric i'm european so i'm fine with metrics and that's it then if you want a map you know you just write uh, either the street address or uh, the name of a city for example let's say milan okay by default it won't show you a map but if you want a map you can just type map and there you have an interactive map, you know, which you can uh, uh, make it bigger. Okay, so then you can also zoom here and there, or change direction. And right now, as I show you, I'm using OpenStreetMap, you know. So it's, so it's also very easy to change the, the map provider, let's say. Okay, let me go back. And then I'm going to show you another thing. And those are the banks basically those are shortcuts where you can with a few letters you can just search from DuckDuckGo straight to another search engine such as github uh, wikipedia or uh, youtube you know and how to use that you need to an exclamation mark and then it will appear here a list okay and there are way many many other banks to choose from like almost 10,000 really there are there are categories and everything almost a bank for any major website you know then let me try for example to search something on github okay so as you can see here i press g and then the 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 menu here change automatically 
you have many other stuff here so I'm going to go with github here so gh and then I'm going just to search for I don't know browser let's see what what I have there so as you can see from DuckDuckGo it goes straight to github you know without pressing any other buttons or pressing the mouse or opening other website you know just go from there straight to the github search engine and search for the browser in this case if I want to go for example Wikipedia you can by the way using also the your search bar here exclamation mark W and then search for Linux and it goes straight to Wikipedia you know as you can see but this is a very nice shortcuts that you can try out you know and that's it so let just let try them there are as close to 10,000 so there is basically for everything you're using by the way a private search engine it's there it's it is an alternative it's you know very well known also and another thing actually let me just search Linux again you can change uh, the region here it's very very interesting this option for example I can switch to Italy and then I will, I will find some website which are in Italian by the way you know or it, it try to search for uh, more in Italian content you can by the way change here super easily Germany or Argentina or everything else you know here many many stuff to to choose from okay I have to say that's very English centric okay so if you are maybe I don't know from Russia or in searching for Russian this is not the best search engine it's very in based it's very uh, in English centered you know so maybe you won't find uh, uh, some stuff that are not in English as you will find through Google or maybe some other search engine dedicated to that specific language you know but anyway I never had problems I search also in German or in Italian or some other languages you know I, I never have problem and that's it okay hope that this video was helpful and see you on the next video bye bye